uh, overall setting up what's going to be a pretty nice day for us. We will see clouds increasing as we head through the day and maybe the chance for an isolated shower. Uh, but for the most part, I think Saturday looking good will be a lot more sunnier on Sunday and it's going to be feeling a lot nicer. It's not feeling too bad for you this morning and then we'll have some rain chances returning going into next week. But as we look at today's forecast, a mixture of sun and clouds, temperatures in the low to the mid 80s and the chance for an isolated shower. Winds have shifted already to the north 5 to 10 miles per hour. We did have a cold front move through and so that's what's going to help to usher in some of this drier air for us. Again, beautiful shot this morning, 70 degrees over at the Kenner Airport. Winds are out of the west at 5 miles per hour. 64s, a group of you. Bogalusa, Slidell, Hammond, 66, Gulfport, 68, Biloxi, 66 also for Bell Chase and 65 in Galliano. Not too much happening right now. You see the clouds and there are a few showers out toward the west that are going to continue to move east. You see how it's kind of falling apart, but as we heat up during the day, may squeeze out an isolated shower or thunderstorm. So just something to keep in mind as you plan your outdoor activities that most of you are going to be dry today, but may see a stray shower. There's the cold front moving into the Gulf rain across Texas that continues to get pushed toward the south. So that is not going to be heading our way, but still have a 20% chance for a scattered shower or two. Then once that drier air moves in by Sunday and going into early next week, not going to see too much happening. Those rain chances are going to return by Wednesday and going through the rest of the week. So looking at your forecast for today, there's the cloud cover that moves through. Chance for an isolated shower or two where you see a little bit of green showing up. Temperatures will be in those mid 80s and then it clears out overnight going into Sunday. And so that's where you could see a few temperatures in the upper 50s. Not feeling too bad for you north of the lake. Upper 50s to low 60s. And on the south shore, hey, it's still not going to be feeling too bad. Mid 60s and any time we can get that humidity down a little bit, it does feel a lot nicer for us. And then into the afternoon, we'll see highs only into the low 80s. Hurricane season officially begins on Tuesday and the good news is not much out there right now. Quiet across the Caribbean, Western Atlantic and into the Gulf of Mexico. Gulf of Mexico is usually where we start to see formation going into the month of June. So just something to keep an eye on. Hopefully things stay quiet for as long as possible. Checking out your forecast today. We'll see temperatures in the mid 80s. There's the slight rain chances as we progress into your afternoon and early evening. Overnight, I mentioned clouds will be decreasing. Increasing. Winds will be picking up though out of the northwest 10 to 15 miles per hour. So it'll be pretty breezy as we go through the day tomorrow, but it'll be lots of sunshine and a nice day with low to mid 80s. So on your seven day forecast, it'll be a quiet start to your week next week. And then as we look into the week, temperatures will be back into the upper 80s to near 90 degrees. And you see some showers each day, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday.